Oh, hey, Susan Hyatt here. And you know when you're scrolling Instagram, minding your business, when suddenly a very shouty person comes onto your screen and assaults your ears with things like, go hard or go home. No matter how hard you go, you can always go harder. Do whatever it takes to make it to the top. Ugh. I am exhausted just saying those things. Society teaches us that if we work hard, sacrifice sleep, ignore our family, pass out at our desk, that these are the success markers we should aim for. So let me just spill this tea on hustle culture because it ain't so hot. Oh, hey, I'm Susan Hyatt and this is Go Time TV. This is the show about creating what you crave right now. Whatever it is, we're gonna create it right here on Go Time TV. Here's the thing, y'all. Hustle culture has caused us all to be trapped in some off-brand version of the Hunger Games for way too long. And it's sneaky. So first, just like any other predator, hustle culture lures you in with pictures of perfectly curated workspaces, usually with a lot of soothing pink tones and motivational prints that cheer you on. Go girl boss! And then it begins to transform into being toxic. Suddenly you start to believe that working 16 hours a day, seven days a week is a badge of honor. When your family begs you to turn off work and sit down and enjoy dinner, you snap back with, but my coach Martha said it takes grit to build a seven-figure empire. Take your pork chops and shove it. Even worse, we often get swept into the adrenaline rush of hustling and grinding, and we completely lose sight of why we're working so damn hard in the first place. Hustle culture is problematic and harmful, and studies show that trudging away at your laptop for long hours is detrimental to your productivity and your creativity. It robs you of your freedom, your sleep, and your health. And we are better than this. So, what's the alternative? Now, I know you have big goals. I have big goals too, like owning a small town in coastal Maine and basically being a Hallmark movie 24 seven. <laughs> and you know my ass will do it. But that doesn't mean I necessarily need to tell Scott Hyatt to take a hike, ignore my kids, let my dog Mork cook his own damn homemade food and never have time to take a shower to make my coastal small town Hallmark dreams come true. To achieve my goals, I'm not going hard, I'm going smart. I take meaningful, intentional, and inspired action towards my goals while having plenty of time to make my sweet little Mork his food. So here's a simple exercise I do with all my clients and students that requires no sweat equity or lost sleep. I want you to fill in the blank. I'm not going hard. I'm fill in the blank. So here's some ideas. I'm not going hard. I'm normalizing a healthy flow of work and play. I'm not going hard. I'm working towards my dreams without working myself into an early grave. I'm not going hard. I'm following my heart and realizing that my worth isn't completely knotted up in my work. Ooh, that's a big one. Now, it's your turn to create your own statement that honors your goals and what you want out of life. I'd love to read it in the comments below because it can still be go time without glorifying the hustle and sacrificing your entire life in the process. If you are hashtag so over hustle culture and enjoyed this episode, please tap the thumbs up button below and hit subscribe to get notified when we release new episodes. And if you think this video can help someone in your life who is totally obsessed with working and grinding, hit that share button. It's people like you and my favorite caffeinated tea that keeps this show going. Until next time, it's go time.